Is there a book deal coming or anything like that? I have no book deal right now in the process. Will you today to commit to donate any further proceeds to book deals, to film reviews, to charity? No. Can you commit under oath that you have not and will not pursue a book or movie deal based on your experiences working for the president? No. That was almost a year and a half ago. It feels like a very different time when Donald Trump's uh, infamous fixer, Michael Cohen, testified before Congress. Now, that day, Republicans were quite hard at work trying to get Cohen to promise not to write a book about Donald Trump. Cohen, of course, ignored those calls, he started writing while he was in an upstate New York prison. And today he released the foreword of his memoir titled Disloyal. In those few pages, Michael Cohen teases accusations like this, quote, Trump had colluded with the Russians, but not in the sophisticated ways imagined by his detractors. I also knew that the Mueller investigation was not a witch hunt. Trump had cheated in the election with Russian connivance, as you will discover in these pages, because doing anything, and I mean anything, to win has always been his business model and way of life. Cohen also teases a slew of... Uh, other things, quote, from golden showers in a sex club in Vegas to tax fraud to deals with corrupt officials from the former Soviet Union to catch and kill conspiracies to silence Trump's clandestine lovers. I wasn't just a witness to the president's rise. I was an active and eager participant. Yikes. For more on Cohen's new revelations, I'm joined now by Natasha Bertrand. She's a national security correspondent at Politico. Natasha, good to see you. Thank you for being with us. What's uh, your sense of what's new in this uh, from the context of what can be new in this? In other words, what can Michael Cohen say in a book that he wasn't compelled to say to investigators? Yeah, great question, Ali. So I think that we're probably going to see a lot of overlap in this book with Michael Cohen's testimony from February of 2019. Um, he, of course, has been in prison for the last couple of years and is serving out the rest of his sentence in home confinement. But I think what we have to remember as we're reading through this is the lengths that the Justice Department and even the Bureau of Prisons, for that matter, apparently were willing to go to to try to prevent Michael Cohen from releasing this book. He was originally sentenced to home, home confinement due to the coronavirus pandemic from jail. And he was ultimately brought back to prison after he refused to sign a statement, statement saying that he would not write a book or speak to the media. That, of course, was kind of a, you know, a deal breaker for Michael Cohen and a federal judge ruled that it was clear retaliation and violated his First Amendment rights. So it's pretty remarkable how how much the Trump administration doesn't want this book to come out um, to the point that a judge last month said, this is something that I've never seen in my in my two decades of being on the bench. Uh, there's a, a, a an excerpt from this that I want to read to you from the forward in which he says Trump has also continued had also continued to pursue a major real estate deal in Moscow during the campaign. He attempted to insinuate himself into the world of President Vladimir Putin and his coterie of corrupt billionaire oligarchs. I know because I personally ran the deal and kept Trump and his children closely informed of all updates, even as the candidate blatantly lied to the American people, saying there is no Russian collusion. I have no dealings with Russia. There is no Russia. Is there anything in this book that is dangerous for the purposes of, of Michael Cohen? Because he was invited to tell investigators everything he knew. Uh, in other words, is this color? Is this stuff we generally knew in greater detail? Uh, or is there something that is so damning that it could actually have an impact on Donald Trump uh, and, and either the election or his legal exposure? Yeah, so there might have been things, for example, that members of Congress just didn't ask Michael Cohen pointedly enough, right? And in that sense, we might not have gotten the fullest picture of what Michael Cohen found out about the president, now president, in the 10 years that he was working for him for the Trump organization. So there are certain things that Michael Cohen, simply by virtue of not having that put out into the public domain during that testimony, is able to save for his book, especially given his testimony that he recorded over a dozen or over 100 conversations over the course of his 10 years 
uh, working for the president. So he has tapes, he has documents, several of which he did turn over to Congress when he testified. But the, the full extent of what's in his back pocket, I think, is not fully known because he was co cooperating with prosecutors and he was charged. And a lot of that came out in, in you know, the, the court proceedings. But I do think that given that length of time that he was working for the, for Trump, there is a lot probably that he has yet to reveal and that he's going to reveal in this book. I mean, just some of the details from this forward, things like the golden shower example in, in Las Vegas. I mean, that is something that has been reported in the past, but it's never been corroborated by someone who was this close to the president. And obviously it raises a whole bunch of new questions. That and of course, things about Trump's financials um, that Michael Cohen could potentially reveal in his book that could be dangerous to the president. These are These are things that we'll be looking out for. Well, that's still in play because there are still investigations in New York. There are still investigations by the district attorney. There are still uh, in, uh, by the by the, uh, the the DA in New York. There are still investigations by the attorney general in New York and other investigations. So is there is there a possibility that Michael Cohen can be called upon to testify further on uh, on some of these issues that come up in his book? I think it's definitely possible. Um, obviously, it depends on how far Congress wants to go with this. There is a possibility that they'll be able to get him to testify, perhaps from his home confinement. Um, prosecutors, of course, could get further cooperation from him during his confinement, subject, of course, to permission from from that uh, from his uh, superiors there. So I think that there is a, a possibility that we could see more cooperation from Michael Cohen on this front. But if he has not yet turned over everything he already has about this to prosecutors, I would also be pretty surprised, um, just given what a valuable resource he right. has been to them in the past. It would seem surprising that he was holding anything back from them at this point. It would not seem so surprising if he was holding things back from the public.